Hey, you guys. Hi. This is Charlie B. And I'm back again. What's good? Uh, it's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. So, what are y'all guys doing? Let me tell y'all. Sunday was yesterday, which is... So, uh, I, I slept, like, on and off all day. What happened? No, no, no. Everything's straight? Yeah, everything's straight. I just want to make sure my shit is right here. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't like the other drop off points in the stores and all that shit. Oh, they be having drop off points where you pick them up. Like Amazon. Yeah, yeah, they got yeah, that yeah. Amazon box. I don't like them shoes. But yeah, I was talking to um, E about this bullshit with all these handicapped spots. Which I said, I think is very unfair. I said, because you got women that go out at night and shop and have kids. And we got to park half... Like, we got to drive halfway through the parking lot mm -hmm. just to get a fucking spot. Yep. Look at Audis. I won't even go on Audis no more. He already know. I'm not going to Audis. <laughs> I'm not going. I'm not going in there. I do get it, it probably was faster, but still in all, going through all these residential streets and all this shit, you know what I'm saying? They was all driving slow. I guess the cops be up in here. Oh, they do. They be right up in here. I remember one time me and um, Paris got a job working out here at this place where all we had to do was stuff envelopes, right? Why did they put us next to each other? <laughs> I think we smoked before we went to work. <laughs> he was bugging, yo. Like, if you would have seen them envelopes, trust me, they had to redo them. Because they was crooked. <laughs> we wasn't, we supposed to fold the paper down and, yo, it was so fucking funny, yo. The, the fucking um, manager or whoever the fuck the bitch was, she had to keep coming over to us like, you know. And then we just bust out laughing. Uh, high as fuck. <laughs> and lunch break came. I said, man, fuck this job. I don't, I don't need this job. Shit. Yo. And I ain't never go back. But I always kept a job. You went back here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me and Paris, y'all. 
Yeah. So let me tell you, I had got another job working back there. So I went, I checked it out or whatever like that. And um, it's it, it's a warehouse, but they also got like a showroom floor. And it's all glass and, and little, like, like little, um, I want to call them knickknacks that you yeah. put like, you know, little stuff. And everything was glass. And she wanted me to clean two bathrooms, clean the whole show, showroom floor for six fifty a fucking hour. Do you know how long that shit would have took me? Man, that, that lady said, um, you can stay right here, I'll be right back. And not as soon as she went up them steps and through that door, I was gone. <laughs> I was the fuck out. I was like, not the fuck me, you won't. Six fifty an hour. Nick cleaning off the knickknacks, then you had to clean off each shelf that everything glad hey, no thank you. <laughs> no thank you. Shit, no thank you. But you know what's so crazy is that I had every fucking temp agency you know sending me shit in the mail. We got a job for you here, we got a job for you. I didn't mind it, but it was fun in a way because it was like experiment and it's like I, I done did and dabbed and that, but my heart always been in retail. You know what I'm saying? I always loved retail. It ain't really changed as much. It's all about whatever type of register they got. That's all. It basically tells you everything to do. So it's like, I could you not. You know, I don't understand why a motherfucker would want to buy that. That shit like a cop car. What did you buy that shit for? Yeah, I wouldn't even. Yeah. And niggas do really be driving around in them shits because it's a Dude, guy. My work got it's a shit. guy at Camden that um he got one of them. Yeah. I I, I be like, babe, I think that's um, that's oh, I do got for some dollars. You know, be like, nah, I ain't got covers. Cause it's a guy in Camden that got one. These corny ass niggas buying that shit. What the fuck is you doing? No, in the wrong lane. He already knew he gonna have a start and get in front of that car, but it seemed like when he pressed his tires, it was like yeah. spinning. Yo, how they got across the street from the um we went to go see um just this right here. What was the last thing we went to go say? Oh, we went to go see Scream in um Defer. Right across the street they got a motherfucking dispensary. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was like, babe, look, look, look. Cause Darius was telling me some dispensaries you don't need a um marijuana card. You don't need none no more. They they don't they don't have the right to sell it to you, but they're not gonna get in trouble for selling it to you. So that's why certain dispensaries don't give a fuck because they're just waiting for the laws to catch up. They've already said that it's legal for anybody over 21 to smoke, possess, or cultivate marijuana. So Places that like like you can go up trends and do call NJ. Yeah, Richardson. that's yeah. where Darius told me yeah. where he went at. Yeah. Him and Papa John. I'm yeah. like, boy, yo, just be careful. Nah, please. that shit, mom. That shit right across from the state capitol. The state capitol. That that one that got the uh fucking uh the gold dome. He got the dispensary right across the street from this shit. Like literally, like this is that side, that is that side, and they literally facing each other. Damn. He's selling it in front of fucking senators and. All that shit. 
That nigga don't give a fuck. <laughs> Look at like Christine. And his dispensary is a real dispensary. Like you get up there, you see that shit, you gonna be like, wow. I know. My boy was going up there and copping shit for me. And and he had love prices. And then they not only did they open up the dispensary, but then somebody across the street from them tried to open up another dispensary right across from the state capitol. I be like, yeah. They were trying to open up like a lounge where you could smoke. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Like they, the one they, it's not a, it's not a dispensary, but it's a um, hookah lounge. Yeah. The one they got up in um, Lindewall. Yeah. Across from Shoprite. I never been there before. But yeah. It's right across from Shoprite where my car was broke down at. Like if you come up Blackwood Clementon Road and when you get the lower road where that light is at, yeah. you would make a um What the fuck? Wait a minute, what was I saying? Where the hookah lounge was. Oh, okay, yeah. Like if you leave out of the birches, say for instance, and you going up to a shop right, right where the Kentucky Fried is at. You make a left, and it's right there. That that part of um, where them stores is at. Shop that little shopping center over there, over there where Eve Grandma had her store. Matter yeah, of fact, y'all, yeah. it's one right. It's right there. It's a hookah lounge. They got pool. You can play pool in there and everything. Yeah, for the hooks. Beer garden. They can go there and smoke shit. What? Weed. And where? Inside the place. It's like a beer garden. It's like an outside, inside place. Get the fuck out of here. Where you see that at? That's up in Trenton, next to the NJ Weedman. Damn. And they got a lounge where you can sit yeah. and smoke your shit. Yeah. Damn. Shit, you're blowing shit. You can blow your shit in a dispensary, though. So, like, that nigga don't give a fuck. That nigga, he went to jail behind that shit. He been talking, NJ Weed Man was, was, was up when I was 13, 14, I was hearing about him. NJ Weed Man gets locked up, five year bid for possessing, a, uh, uh, I think he had like two pounds of weed or some shit like that. Yeah. I love weed. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga had two pounds. I love weed. <laughs> Yo, when I went up to New York with um, T, when I used to go with her, and um, I always met a uh, male, always got introduced to, you know, because we, they, you know, her friend Viv, we go to her house. Viv knew everybody. You know what I mean? So, this one time, it was me and T, we was walking, and this guy, he was Jamaican, of course, and um, he was asked me, I want to come over later, me and T come over and, you know, smoke or whatever. So I was like, yeah, this nigga has so much weed. Like, and I noticed that about Jamaicans, when you, if you, like, if like, you want to smoke or whatever, yo, they would go like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just like that. Yeah. You have a hell of a... Y'all. Yeah. I ain't never really know... No Jamaicans, no Jamaicans. I've known people who've known them. Just tell me their story. Yeah, I had a fun time with them. We used to get, we used to, when I, when I was going over Philly, man, say, man, them Jamaicans treated us with love, yo, for real. We ate good, we smoked, we used to sit on top of the, um, on top of the roof, music. It was nice. And I really enjoyed myself. That's one time in my life was fucked up, but I still enjoyed myself when I would go over there because I was stressed the fuck out. And I ain't picked up, left on me and shit. Like, it was just too much. It was too much. Um, what part of Phil y'all used to chill at? I used to chill in... You know, I don't know what part of Philly that is, but if you take the Ben Franklin Bridge, as soon as you come off, you make that right on 5th, 5th Street. 
take Fifth Street all the way up. Take it all the way up. You're even going to go up the underpass from the Roosevelt Boulevard. You want to go straight. The, the, uh, the Roosevelt Boulevard go like this, but you're going to be going straight up Fifth. So you're going to go under the um, highway or whatever like that. And it's all the way up. And on his strip, nothing but all stores. I don't know what area that was called, but it was all the way up there. It was a nice area. It was really, really nice. We hung in all different parts. We even hung in, what's that part of Philly called? I don't even, why do you want to say Silent Hill? Sharon Hill. Sharon Hill. Y'all, me, Teresa, Nia, Deidre, we had met. Niggas, we always be like, niggas, we was over there chilling. Like, that was, was before. That, dollar repair, can you stop there? Yeah. That was that was before um, T was even, you know, around. So. Yeah. Yeah, I've been to Sharon before. Y'all. Bunch of niggas out there getting money. And I'ma tell you, I don't know how I did it, Tony, but I was get I was getting around and it wasn't and it wasn't hard for me not to follow directions. But now I just be like iffy with everything that I do. Like I don't know. I just be real iffy. Like, I wasn't afraid to get lost. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't afraid to get lost. I'd be like, uh-oh, wrong way, y'all. <laughs> yo, they'd be like, yo, you off the hook. I'd be like, shit, we having fun, y'all. Okay, we come over there, we ain't got to buy nothing. Niggas is buying everything. <laughs> oh, come on. What, what happened? What they saying? Them big bills before 1230. Oh shit. You wanna go to the Family Dollar over there on um Hatton Avenue? You probably gonna see the same shit. What about- Just take me right here so I can get a pack of cigarettes. I was about to say, what about Dollar General? On Ferry Ave. Either one will work. But I just don't you want just, that's what you wanted to do, or you still need to go back in there? Yeah, I still need to go in there. Okay, yeah. so we want me to take this it's from the um right here, right pantry. Pantry, right. yeah. I'm All gonna tell getting cold, man. That shit crazy, man. Yeah. My 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 boy got, got that shit. He good though, because he vaccinated like me. But he got that shit. I mean, and I think I'm, I think with me, I think it got a lot to do with the fact that I'm not around a lot of people, and the people are, I am around in my family. Like, yeah, yeah. I be a lot around a lot of people, but I keep my mask. Up. Right, I was right. mad that I left my mask even then. Knock the fuck out as usual, me and E. Always knocked out for 12 o'clock, man. Not coffee, me. Tell me. If I can find out who got any sick, you know, fuck that look. Being my son, y'all just talking and chatting, chit chatting.
but I'm about to go home, take me a nap, guys, because I'm so tired. Put five dollars in there to give it a little something. <laughs> Maybe nothing. <laughs> You've got the money. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, y'all! Hit my dream car. Cause you my dream car, you get much respect. Look at this, look at this, look at this car. Look at that car, y'all. That's my dream car. Damn, yo, I wish I knew somebody that'd be like, yo, I know you said you had a dream car. I'm gonna let you drive mine for the weekend. I don't like no stop playing, stop playing, stop playing. Can I bring back Monday? <laughs> I'm getting up early. I'm putting on my best motherfucking outfit. I swear, y'all. Oh my God, that is my dream car. And they, I think it's another one, too. Oh my God, y'all. That's my dream car. This. Oh, that was that paper. I had to call on people see just what they talk about. My bad hat, ooh. Y'all, I ain't do my hair today. You talking about people? You don't know yet until after the ultra sale. So now, what happened? You was trying to tell me that seen a doctor or you talked to a doctor about your breast what they say yeah they basically saying like so this is what he telling me he's saying that and this shit sound crazy he's saying that some all boys go through it but some go go through it later than others what the fuck is it does it got a name did say a name, but I can't remember. Yeah, because I kind of like fell off from that point, not having a car. And it came in my head. I still got to find another, I still got to find another doctor though. I got fucking, I'll tell you what I All right. So yeah, me and my son, me and my son, y'all, just, just, you know, we ride along. We ride, we ride. So I, I had a feeling my son was in that, in, in Walmart shopping. He, I don't know why, but he liked Walmart. Oh, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go and add off Sika. No, I'm not. Because I'm gonna be too much worried about my dude. So I'm not gonna sleep good. Put a movie on. Put my phone to my ear like this when I'm asleep. While I'm dozing off, trying to get a little nap. It's going into a part two video. Oh God, I'm so tired, y'all. Mm. This shit wasn't well. 